Good morning. It's our letter from home. It's good to see you. Hey, we're in the home stretch. We only have five Psalms left. This Sunday, we're going to be in Psalm 130. Yes, I skipped Psalm 129. But 130, the Psalm, is wonderful. I know it will encourage you. And so I hope you'll read it more than once before we gather this coming Sunday. And then we'll finish up the Psalms of Ascent over the month of November. So it's going to be a sweet time together. I'm going to ask a favor of you. I'm not feeling 100%. I seem to have kind of an allergy this morning. So please be praying for me that by the time uh, Sunday rolls around, I will be in the pink and 100%. So God bless you. We've got a lineup for you for the letter from home. And uh, I just want to praise the Lord for you. Thank you for your prayers, not just for me, but for the whole church, for one another as well as the prayers that we offer and to give unto the Lord with thanksgiving and the petitions that are so heavy on our heart for our country, our world, and certainly for our church. God bless you. We love you. Mwah. Hey, if you've not been at the North Campus, let me tell you, it looks really good. Thank you for all those who took last Saturday out and came and worked and upgraded the campus, maintained it. It looks fantastic. Also, Harvest Festival, that's coming up. Don't forget, I'm excited. Brittany and I just walked around the campus yesterday and just thinking about what's going to happen, what's going to take place, a lot of people are going to come down there. We are so confident of that. So candy we need we've got a lot of cars already set up we got games set up but candy 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 bring it on sunday bring it to the office this week be great finally men ironworks is happening still thursday mornings we have meeting inside now in the lobby we're spread out we're covid conscious uh, but we are meeting so please come if you've not come um, we have a lot of fun and we'll have a lot more fun with you there love you guys Hey everyone, Harvest Festival is just around the corner and I'm excited about it and I hope you guys are too. It's gonna to be October 31st on a Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. And I wanna encourage you all to invite your friends, invite your families, even invite your neighbor next door who may not know the Lord. Um, it's just a great opportunity to reach out to the community and come together and be with one another and sharing about God's love. I wanna also encourage you, if you haven't signed up to help out with the Harvest Festival, we have about two spots available for trunk or treat, and we still need help with our setup and teardown, and we would love for you guys to help. So get connected with me by calling the church office or emailing me. Also coming up this next week, we are going to start collecting donations of food for our boxes of love. So what's the boxes of love? It's food for families of Golden Oak Elementary, and it's just a great opportunity to reach out to the school district as well and serve the families that need food, and it's going to be great. So I hope you guys can start bringing food for that, and we'll see you guys later. Hi, church. Well, hey, in high school ministry, there's still a lot going on. Every Wednesday night, we have our grow groups, and every Sunday morning, we've been meeting in the church parking lot after our main worship service and having youth group out there. It's been really great. We've been doing kind of a theology series where we've been just looking at what does what is God teach about sin, about God, about man, and, and all of those things. It's been, it's been really great. Um, just want to give you a little bit of encouragement. This morning in our staff meeting, we had devotions, and one of the things that we talked about was uh, just when Jesus fed the 5,000 people, and it was kind of took it from the disciples' point of view, and it was um, just talking about their just their lack of faith on the on the front end, and then God's faithfulness and provision afterwards, and it echoed back to uh, the Old Testament times when Israel was in the wilderness and when God fed them with manna, and really uh, just struck me and reminded me and challenged me about how um, just how, how every day God is faithful and provides for our needs. And every time when, when something seems hopeless, when something seems like there's, you know, there's not an answer, 
God always provides. And I think in, in this season, as we look at just all the things that are coming up, remember that God is faithful. And that's such a cliche thing to say, but it's so true. And, and remember that, for, I mean, all, all the way down to every breath that we breathe, God provides for us. And so if you look at, if you're watching the news, if you're looking at situations around us and it seems like just unsure, remember the one thing that we do know, the one thing that is certain is that God is faithful and God provides. We love you and have a great week. Hey, church family. It is a great week to be a junior higher. Uh, last night on Wednesday, we had a great Wednesday night. We are just loving being together, meeting outdoors. It's been amazing. And then this Saturday, it's the Harvest Hangout. So we're at the Inchcliffe property. We're going to play a ton of games, volleyball, soccer, spike ball, cornhole. It's going to be a great afternoon, evening. We'll have some dinner, a message, and small groups. And so that's what this week is. And then next week, it also is amazing because we're going to the corn maze. That's right. You wish you were a junior hire. And on Wednesday, we're going to go to the corn maze. And hopefully, we don't get lost and we get out of there. But just thank you. Without your support and your prayers and your faithfulness, we couldn't do what we do for these students. So we love you and we thank you. Hello, friends. Christine here. It's always so good to talk with you and to share a little bit about what's going on here at Grace. I know you've heard so much about the Harvest Festival and there's a reason for that. We want you involved in this. This is going to be a really fun thing that we're offering the community. Not just the community, but our church as a whole. We need to be together. It's so important whenever we have a reason to gather that we should gather. And so I'm encouraging you to come. If you can't serve, that's okay. Maybe just come and walk around. Come for some fun food. We have some great things planned, some people coming, uh, bring a little extra money, and uh, it's gonna be a good night to hang out together and just to share the love of Christ with people that are gathering together. Also, I was really touched this week. A friend of mine is having surgery actually today, and um, you know, it's just neat to see the hands and feet of the Lord, us in action, really, the church in action. And I put out a Take Them a Meal um, website yesterday, and. Um, on this site, you can sign up for a meal, and I was so thrilled to look later in the day and see that almost every single slot had been filled. And is this friend a great person and easy to serve? Yes, of course she is. But more than that, these are people that just jumped in and served. People that heard a need and jumped right in and said, yes, I want to help. So I want to encourage you to keep being the church in your community. Keep being the church to the friends here that we serve with, um, because again, we are the hands and feet of Christ. So be encouraged this week, continue to be used by God, and I hope you're doing well. Bye. Hey, Grace Community Church. I just wanted to check in with you guys and just say hi this week. I don't really have any updates other than to say the Lord is doing such awesome things in this church. I guess that's not really an update so much as um, noticing and being excited about those awesome things. So be praying for our church specifically and be praying for the global church as it's going through this season still that we can seek God's will for our lives and that we can love him earnestly and we can understand the love he has for us. So have an awesome week and I'm excited to either see you Sunday in person or on a video. Hey church, this is Corey. I hope all is well. I hope this video finds you doing great in whatever your endeavors are that God is blessing you richly. I wanted to let you know that April Beavers is our point person for Operation Christmas Child. That's right. She's the GCC OCC point person. So if you would like to participate in Operation Christmas Child this year, you are going to see her this Sunday on the patio and pick up your box. Also, satellite is going really well. We continue to meet outside, even though it's starting to get just a little bit chillier. And we're enjoying the community of young adults that exists at Grace Community Church. If you see them, give them a blessing, encourage them. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless.